What does your t-shirt say? I don't know, I think it's the name of a garage. Good morning. It's the most beautiful day in London. Can you even see that? Today I am on an adventure this morning. I am in my car early. It's not early, but you don't know that, so. <laughs> I'm going to see someone special. I've got all my washing in the back because I'm a child and I just treated myself to an iced coffee because I got paid yesterday. Iced soya. Oh, got a chocolate brownie for the person I'm visiting. Uh, no, not you. But I love chocolate. It's not for you. Now onto a snippet I like to call, I've just thought of this, skincare in the car. I always, always, 10 times a day, get asked, Lauren, what's your skincare routine? So right now I have a face wipe, biodegradable, obviously, that's going on. Just wiping away the makeup I forgot to take off last night. I did actually do this before coming on camera, I don't just normally just like. And then, I'm gonna have serum. I mean, like, pfft. You thought I wasn't professional. It's not even serum, is it? It's the Clarins. This is a tester I've had for about 10 years and I'm somehow it's still going. Super restorative wake up lotion because as you can see, I need to blue and wake up. I normally do this with two hands. Oh, oh, it's, uh, uh, shouldn't, uh, uh, shouldn't have done that. Just do it around the eyes. <laughs> around the mouth. It smells really nice, even though it probably went off years ago. And there we are. Finish. Good morning. Hello? 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 Ha oh. Hello? I come bearing gifts. Washing. Oh, lovely. Oh, no, it's, my dad's already taken it in. I'm pretending to be professional. It's not working. What are you wearing? This is not what your fans want you to see you in. It's a bit chilly. Go put it on. It's winter. It's a jumper. Go put it on. You're not it's being... It's a cotton jumper. Just wait for five minutes of the video then. Put oh, it I'll put it on in a minute. <laughs> lovely plants. Mm. Very nice. Very impressive. Come on. Come on. Now. Bit more energy, please. This is YouTube. Oh, I didn't realize you had it turned on. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going strong. Yeah, yeah. What are you complaining about? That looks, I wasn't, but today it's a little bit chilly in London. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> I needed my fleece because I'm sitting at the computer, but um. Yeah, this is great. I love this jump. Do I get mean daughter points for making you change? You do. <laughs> Present number one, close your eyes. Hold out your hands. There you go. I saw that. I must admit, I saw I borrowed that. mum's water bottle once ago and uh, stole it. These are amazing because they've got th a thumb grip. Is it a sports handy bottle? It is a sports handy bottle. You wouldn't be able to tell. No, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what has it got that on it? You can just take it off. My others don't have. Did you buy this new or is this the one you stole? I stole it. Sure. Okay, thanks. Second treat. Close your eyes, hold it your hands. Oh, feels like crisp. Coffee treat. Oh, it's in a proper bag. Oh my god! To share. Because it's the size of your head. Oh. oh my god, it's the size of your head. I can't see how heavy this is. <laughs> this is heavy. This is solid. This is what happens when you know the people at the cafe. Do you know what? My mouth is watering. Go and bite it. Go on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'll wait till. <laughs> how gorgeous is their garden looking today? Amazing. Let me not fall down this step. So this is my mum's favourite plant pot selection. And look, up here, I've even got grapes. Hello. What a lovely spot. Pardon? I won. Mum said who could win putting the washing out. Oh, you did or win. coffee. I was, I was slow, I was distracted. Yeah. It's what you've all been waiting for, the <laughs> official brownie taste test. Oh, amazing. Mike what does your t-shirt say? I don't know, I think it's the name of a garage. <laughs> I think someone said it sounds like the name of a garage. If there are any, is it Russian? If there oh. are any Russians watching. I think it's Greek, isn't it? Or is it Greek? I'm not sure. It looks Greek actually with that yeah. thing. If there are any Greeks watching, please tell me what mum's t-shirt says. Come on then. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Be honest, if it's disgusting, please say. It's disgusting, I'll have yours. <laughs> mm. Out of 10? Mm. Texture? The texture is really soft and lovely. 
flavour. So it coats your tongue and sticks to your teeth. Ugh. No, it's lovely. What, like oil? No. Mum once gave me a glass of oil, which she thought was schlur to drink when I wasn't well. Mm. It was olive oil that we... Oh, great, yeah, that's the best oil to no, drink. I'm just saying we decanted it. It wasn't like a car oil or something. No, this is lovely. I wouldn't be here if it was car oil. Mm, lovely. Out of ten, officially. I would say nine. Ooh! Pretty good. Nine is better than pretty good. No, it's it's very good. It's very, very good indeed. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yum. Very British of you. Very, very good indeed. <laughs> Lunch made for me today by Mummy, which is cress and a bit of bread. Watercress cream cheese marmite. Rocking combo. You've cheated jumper wise. I know. You've gone back to the big. Um, yes. This one, zebra? The other one's open on the This neck. one is so. Uh, <laughs> you just. <laughs> oh, it's crumbs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Topping. As a side dish, we have these gorgeous beans that my dad makes. They are, if you could smell this. I mean, I don't like generally anything beany because it's not pasta. But he does it in like this sauce. What's in here? It's like so much garlic. Garlic, onions, tomato, celery is a celery. big player. What beans are these? They're giant white beans. They've got a certain name, but they're not butter beans, they're bigger. Mm. And you buy them dried. And you have to soak them, don't you? Yes. If anyone wants dad's bean recipe, let me know and I'll post it. Sorry. Just been to see my grandma um, where she lives and I thrashed her at Triominoes and even though she's 92 next month, don't even feel guilty. Don't even feel bad. She uh, she gave me a good, good competition but didn't quite beat me. <laughs> in this cupboard is my kitchen. Now, coming from the flat I used to live in, it's been quite a, <sighs> a ball ache transitioning over to this tiny kitchen. You know what? Sometimes in life you never know what's gonna happen. One day you've got a whole kitchen and then something happens and the next thing you know, you're cooking your scrambled eggs in a cupboard. But anyway, nonetheless, let's go. <laughs> it's pretty freaking ridiculous that I have this cupboard kitchen. Um, and look, this is actually, I don't have, I have normal size hands and look, it's tough. Well, they look like chipolatas right now. Um, that's not me fat shaming my own hands, but you know. Um, before I go in, I know, let me say this. I am only gonna do a kitchen tour in this video. If this video gets 500 thumbs ups, then I will do a whole studio tour so you'll be able to see everything that's behind me. By the way, I'm living for these hand gestures. I feel like I'm that um, thing from Art Attack. No? Okay, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Here we go. The amount of times I hit my arms on these corners I have so many bruises, it's ridiculous. Ta-da! How freaking cute is this? Now, as you can see, I filled it to the absolute brim, but let me show you around. So when you first open the doors, you can see these cute little spice racks that also contain vitamin C. These things are great if you go out drinking and you don't want a hangover. Just take one of these before you go to bed and it definitely helps. Tips. Here on the other side, I also have cute little spices. There's a hook for my tea towel. You should have seen how excited I got when I saw that hook. First of all, I was like, there's nowhere for me to hang my tea towel. And then I was like, oh my God. And it was very exciting. These are my cute plates from Dunelm. How cute are they with the little heart on? Let me put that there. Is it gonna fall over? Oh, it's ready. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Let's go from top to bottom. So I put these lights in that are rubbish and they do nothing, so that was pointless. We have like a rack up here, which has my pots and pans on. Then here we have a drying rack, which is great for plates. Um, my utensils are here and here is where I put the cutlery and things after I've dried them. Sink, Ugh, should have moved, should have, oh my God, I could have actually cleaned, couldn't I? Da da da, finish, sink. Drying area, double halogen hob. Now, the best thing about this hob is that all you do is you put it on a number, 
let's say three, because that's the highest. And then you've got a timer here. So you put the timer on. So say you want to cook pasta, 10 minutes, and then it heats up straight away. Oh my God, that's hot already. It means that I always used to worry when I used to live in, at home that I left the hob on, but it times down and turns off, even if this is still on the number. So I can never burn the house down again. One of my favorite things in my old kitchen was the the knife magnet. And when I found out that this was one, I was excited probably more than was necessary. And uh, it was a great day. I'm just gonna completely ignore like the spots of grease and this disgusting bit here because it wasn't me, it was here before. I have tried to get this grease off and it does not freaking work, so screw it. Then down here we have a fridge which is full, very full. There's a freezer compartment at the top. Then we have a microwave. Oh, my feet. <laughs> then we have a microwave here. Then we have two drawers which have cutlery. Ooh. Cutlery in here. And then this one is full of rubbish. So here it is, my tiny little mini kitchen tour. The thing I love about this kitchen the most, the best thing, is the fact that if you don't want to wash up, you just close the doors. One thing that is also brilliant is this. Because um, obviously I don't have any room for like appliances. But I got this thing, this whatever it is thing on free cycle and it's just like the perfect addition to my kitchen r.i.p plant i'm very very sorry it's now friday i was going to pretend that it was the same day but i'm doing this whole like hashtag real life thing and i didn't want to film wednesday night i had a nice night didn't want to film it um and now it's <laughs> and <laughs> like a blooming guinea pig it's now Friday and I'm actually doing something really pretty freaking cool tonight so that's why I'm filming but firstly something even more exciting we have a taste test for you we have a such an exciting taste test because gingerbread matchsticks are out now I say that as if I know um, and I've tasted gingerbread matchsticks before I haven't this is a whole new experience for me I do realize that it's a Christmas thing and it's September but I don't even care I like to you know live my life to the full as you guys know and I hope that every single person watching this video knows what matchsticks are because they're life-changing and lethal they're lethal um, matchsticks normally come in orange uh, mint and sometimes salted caramel but I've never seen these ones before and I'm so freaking excited Oh, brilliant. Hello. This is a great view. Um, so, dun, 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 dun. Um, they're made by Quality Street, as you can see, and they look like this. Oh. Gingerbread latte is one of my favourite drinks. Well, actually, that was kind of more when I was drinking more milk. I tried to have as much, like, non- I try to have as much non-dairy milk now as possible, just not because I prefer it, just because of, you know, baby cows. Um, uh, you know, it's my little step forward into having less meat-based products. Anyway, let's go on to this blooming review. So, this is what it looks like. This best be good, otherwise I'm going to be really upset. Well, oh, it tastes like Christmas. <laughs> Why isn't it Christmas? When you first taste it. When you first taste it, it's like, uh, chocolate and gingerbread. Because it's a weird combination at first. Because the gingerbread is quite, I don't know, it's quite strong mixed with the chocolate. But then it's just like. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to take on one of the most daring and uh, life, you know, life-threatening uh, acts a human can do, which is also known as cutting an avocado in half that you're not sure about. Uh, this is one of the avocados that I bought from Lidl one week ago, and one week ago it said ripe and ready, and as I said to you in the bit in the vlog, I knew that was a lie.
it's freaking perfect. Yes, yes, yes. I know, it's me. Did you even, did you even recognize me? Did you even recognize me? Anyway, tonight is the Queer London fashion show and I'm going on my own. Do you want me to show you my outfit? Yeah. And I'm gonna vlog it, I'm gonna take you with me. Black flat boots because I'm standing and I can't be bothered to stand in heels. I've got a little midi pencil skirt. Then I've got this little shirt moment thing and a little cropped bomber on the side. see it's the next morning and I did not film last night the curls are still there a bit low I look quite hot well done me um I have completely forgotten that I am a youtuber and I completely forgot to vlog last night but I was just on an absolute high from the freaking incredible night I am feeling so proud to be a Londoner so proud to be queer you know, part of the LGBT AIQ plus community. And it was just oh, amazing, uh, amazing. Um, I met a few people that I know from Instagram and one girl I knew from YouTube. And I saw loads of people that I recognized. And I was like, oh, I follow you, I follow you, I follow you. Didn't talk to any of them because I'm too shy. Um, but it was so freaking amazing. Oh my God, my arm's hurting. Let me lay back. Welcome to my bed. Get comfy. Um, <laughs> let's have a chat. Um, the models last night, there was, when they say diversity, normally diversity doesn't actually mean diversity. It's, you know, we'll just put one fat person in and call it diverse um but last night there was so many oh, there was every single like gender sexual orientation size race color ability disability age absolutely everything oh, and it i'm just so so overwhelmed today and just like full of love and I wasn't gonna go last night because I was like ah it's East London it's far can't be bothered but it was just a freaking amazing night and I'm feeling so so proud but this brings me on to something else I want to say coming back to YouTube I've been so overwhelmed with the response I've got and with how amazing you guys have been and just the whole thing um, and I want to create a way to kind of like incorporate you into this video in you right there into my videos and to kind of create more of a community. Somebody wrote the other day that I have an army behind me, like Lauren's army, and that's so right. I think a lot of us, like last night I went on my own and I felt alone, but you know, we are never alone in this world. There are so many people in the same boat as us. Let me change arms, cause, oh, oh. Let me just let this uh, recover. I want to start doing Lauren's word of the week. Lauren's word of the week. Lauren's gonna start it off because you haven't seen this yet, therefore you don't know what's going to happen. What? Um, the Rose Ride of the Week is going to be something that you... I'm going to ask people to comment below and write a word of the week that they want some more of or they've been feeling like uh, it's something they've started... To, like, let me give you an example. Last night, I saw so many people that I wish... Well, a couple of people in particular that I wish I'd gone up to and spoken to because they looked a freaking amazing. And I am... Um, annoyed at myself that I didn't talk to them and I really feel like I needed a bit of extra confidence and I feel like my word of the week our word of the week this week is confidence 
And the thing with confidence is it's not even a thing. Fake it until you make it, honestly. With confidence, I feel like when I think about how to get it, I picture somebody that I consider really confident and then picture them standing there with shoes on. And just imagine them stepping out of their shoes. You step into those shoes and you can like become that person. Am I talking crap? Probably. So I want you to, with the word of the week, I mean, this might be a rubbish idea. Tell me below. Do you think it's a rubbish idea? Who knows? I want you to channel this word and incorporate it into your life. We're gonna do so many different words like, you know, uh, brave, love, all these all these things that we should be filling our worlds with rather than getting bogged down in the nitty gritties of our minds. Um, so I want you to, you know, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your gran, shout it from the rooftops or just write it on your fridge, anything. Just make sure you're focusing more on positivity and, co you know, confidence this week in doing something you maybe wouldn't have done before, like going to a dance class or, you know, um, going out on a date or wearing something you wouldn't normally consider wearing. Something that is going to push you to feel better. And yeah, I'm going to shut up now because I've been speaking too long and this video is probably way too long. Anyway, confidence. Tell me your stories of what you're going to do this week. Love you guys. Thank you for being you and peace out. Love you. Bye.